Sean Palmer was once touted as the world's greatest athlete and as an irreverent, irrepressible, and irresistible force in virtually every action sport he pursued. But Sean's induction tonight is for his game-changing impact in snowboarding's formative years, when the original bad boy was a half-pipe and border cross world champion who inspired tens of thousands to follow in his wake. Tom Shea, the editor of the world's first snowboarding magazine, put it this way. Sean Palmer alone embodied the heart and soul of snowboarding. Growing up in Lake Tahoe with his single parent mom and grandmother, Palmer built his own board at age 12 and quickly taught himself the sport. By age 15, he had dropped out of school to pursue a professional career. And in 1986, he casually showed up in a Santa Claus outfit to win the famed Mount Baker Bank Slalom. In 1990, he beat legendary pipe rider Craig Kelly to win the Swatch World Halfpipe Championship. Five years later, he founded Palmer Snowboards and his total domination of the new snowboard cross discipline would cement the brand's reputation and his own. Palmer would win three consecutive Winter X Games gold medals in Border Cross from 1997 to 1999. And then, in another head-turning display of versatility, he would switch over to Ski Cross the next season and win Winter X Games gold again. I keep coming off the couch and there's no competition no more. A six-time X Games gold medalist, he was the poster boy and go-to guy for ESPN in the network's promotion of the Winter X Games and in the new world of extreme. Palmer's hard partying lifestyle caught up with him in 2005 when he was hospitalized for a near-fatal drug and alcohol overdose. But he soon mounted a legendary comeback and became a valued member and elder statesman with the U.S. snowboard team, collecting silver medals in World Cup events in 2006 and 2008. After qualifying for the 2006 Olympic border cross event, where he had a legitimate shot at a gold medal, Palmer was sidelined by a torn Achilles tendon. And then at age 41, narrowly missed a spot on the 2010 Vancouver Olympic roster. Heavily tatted in the ink that usually had a Cadillac theme and outrageously entertaining, Palmer made it clear that snowboarding was a lifestyle first and nobody could match his unique combination of natural athletic ability, game day performance, and showmanship. Arriving at events in one of his tricked out big fin vintage Cadillac sedans, sporting plaid snowboard pants and a clown hairdo, Palmer would don a shiny sequined outfit, usually sewn by his mom, to accept the winner's trophy. He was the lead singer of a punk band called Fungus in the 1990s. And with PlayStation launched an extremely successful video game, Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboard. As the third snowboarder to earn his own pro model board, Palmer would sign numerous lucrative sponsorship deals in snowboarding, mountain biking, and motocross during his career. Palmer's accomplishments beyond snowboarding are difficult to fathom. As the ultimate multitasker, he seemed able to pick up any sport and immediately compete at a world-class level, though he usually followed a diligent training regime behind the scenes. He was a silver medalist in downhill at the 1996 World Mountain Bike Championships and the Winter X Games gold medalist in snow mountain bike racing in 1997. He raced cars and was also a professional motocross racer. In 2012, freestyle pioneer Brad Holmes produced a documentary on his longtime friend Palmer, calling it The Miserable Champion. One Palmer tribute from the film says it all. No one could keep up with him. For his world titles in half-pipe and border cross to his overwhelming impact on snowboard culture and the entire action sports landscape, Sean Palmer is welcomed into the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame.